All right, so welcome to part two. Today we're gonna to be ripping some plywood and starting on the floor, getting that all put back into place. What I'm actually gonna do is assemble the floor on the camper panel by panel because the fully assembled floor is really heavy and kind of unwieldy to get up underneath the camper. How these are built in the factory is upside down and the wood is put on, makes it much easier that way. So yeah, we're gonna approach this uh, a piece at a time and uh, start ripping some plywood. It's a windy day, but have some sun. Uh, might thunderstorm later, so we'll see how far I can get. All right, so we got this piece in here. Had to do a little bit of wrestling to get it in here, but it's all mounted up. I only have a few screws in it for the time being. I'll go ahead and finish it up once we get some more pieces in here. But for now, that piece is in. Fits like a glove, as you guys can see. So yeah, now we're gonna do the other side. All right, let me update you guys. So I have this nice sanded sheet of plywood here and I've gone ahead and marked out these side panels here. So got it all drawn out on the wood. I find this helps making sure everything is correct so we know what to follow. Now let's go look at what we did to the camper. All right, so we're in the inside again and you can see I've got both of these side wings on. They're not fully screwed in yet. Um, what I did before I mounted them was took some scotch bright to the underside of the aluminum, make sure I cleaned up any of the surface rust, just give a nice clean surface. We're gonna caulk on the inside and on the outside here to seal that all up, um, as well as the uh, trim pieces that go on. I uh, also took a hammer and like hammered any little um, uh, divots in the aluminum where the old fasteners pulled the metal down to make sure it was nice and flat and now over here we have a 2x4 bolted to the bottom because we're going to extend the floor three and a half inches which will give me almost six foot three of standing room in here which is going to be great because i'm just about six foot three so it'll be better um, than it was prior and these are just pocket holes that are mounted or pocket holes yeah that i drilled with nice big long screws go up into the aluminum. So this is super, super sturdy. Uh, definitely not going anywhere. Then the floor will mount to this. And yeah, um, we're currently working on the next pieces of the floor. And I'm thinking I'm gonna actually make this drop a little bit bigger. I'm gonna do eight inches instead of the six, which will give me potentially, uh, well, definitely more storage space, but potentially another spot um, to put the diesel heater instead of in the back where it was, but we'll see. I'm kind of working through the measurements and what that looks like right now.
All right, it's a new day, so what we're doing here is getting these little side wings prepared. I'm um, gonna r roughly assemble them together, and then these big pieces here, I gotta get the holes um, drawn and cut in for the access points to the tie downs. Um, so hopefully get that done tonight as well. But yeah, this is um, what would be the driver's side, um, side piece of the camper floor. What I did is uh, we did some wood glue and then I've got a handful of screws in this holding it together. <clears throat> and then I'll probably add some more screws to this uh, once it dries, but I just wanted to get it all held together. It's looking really good. So we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, so this is the big side panel where the holes or cutouts are for uh, reaching in from the inside and tightening down the turnbuckles once the camper is mounted. So what we're doing is measuring out where those holes are gonna be. We're gonna draw them out here on this piece of wood, and then we're going to take the um, jigsaw and cut open uh, these holes. I um, went and measured the um, factory floor or at least what was on it the front hole was six inches uh, back from the front of the camper and then the hole in the back was five inches up from the back of the camper so we're just gonna replicate those same measurements because that's what I mean it worked from fine for my truck so I don't really see a need to change that up um, the front hole on the original one is square and the back hole is round but I don't have a hole saw that, uh, you know, a large hole saw or a use for one to go buy one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make both holes square. We'll round the edges to make sure that the, uh, we're not necessarily creating any areas for the plywood to split or crack. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get those drawn in and then cut out. And then um, I think we can probably get a lot of stuff painted here in the next day or so in here before we throw it up on the camper. That way once it's thrown up on the camper, it's waterproof because the weather's been uh, just really unpredictable here and uh, bipolar. Um, so we have some nice days and we have some rainy days and I don't really know what's in store. So definitely wanna make sure this stuff doesn't get wet and uh, keep it nice and protected. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this.
Actually, it looks pretty dang nice. Good enough. I think so. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut out that other one, but pretty much the same process, and then we're gonna repeat this on the identical piece for the other side. And that will be pretty much all of the floor done outside of, uh, well, the main piece of the floor, which is really just a big 80 inch long sheet of plywood, um, cut down to somewhere around like 40 inches wide and then two little small backing pieces and some little wings and we'll be good we'll be in the money okay so we're out here again today getting the walls of the floor all built up so you can see it's been painted uh, just cut this piece here and uh, screwed it in glued it as well now we're getting ready to mount this other side piece here that's gonna fill in the gap here so that's what we're gonna do right now get that mounted and screw it in i decided not to widen the floor to keep this camper compatible with first gen tacomas and all other tacomas um 39 inches is pretty much the max you're gonna fit in a tacoma so i want this to be something that somebody with a smaller truck can buy down the road if i end up selling it and keep the uh, potential pool of customers is wide as possible okay so i'm going to try and stick this side panel on myself may need the wife's health but we'll see but what i did is stuck some um, butyl tape here along this metal seam so i'll just peel off the the plastic here um, when i'm ready to go but that way when the wood is sandwiched up here it's going to create a nice seal between the metal frame and the wood side of the floor here. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's see if I can't get this made it up and installed by myself. All right, it's the next day. We made some great progress. Got both sides all mounted up. You can see other sides mounted over there. This is painted. That's just some sawdust on there. Got to still paint the underside, but the um, sides that would get hit by the elements are waterproof. Let's take a look at the inside. All right, so you can see on the inside, we have both sides mounted up. Everything is in place. Got our screws going through. Everything feels really sturdy. Um, you can see the butyl tape that I put in the seam there. That should help keep this nice and sealed. We did that front and back. So yeah, we just got to, now we got to measure out a sheet of plywood to fit in the floor here and it'll come all the way back. Um, and then I may be able to just do one piece. The other floor was a two piece floor, but I don't think that's needed. So we're going to get that measured out and cut and see what we can do there. So yeah, that's the, the next step. And then once we get the floor on this thing, then we can go around make sure we really seal everything and paint up the uh paint up the inside here so let's get cracking okay so the back section of the camper is wider than a sheet of plywood so we're going to rip this whole sheet into the width of the main section which is about 37 inches and three quarters so i'm going to rip rip it down to size and then we'll rip it down uh lengthwise and get this installed. Then we'll use the scraps to um, create the other pieces for the section that's too wide. All right, so I'm working on this solo and this is how I'm gonna attempt to get the floor on by myself. I got some jack stands and then a car jack down there at the far end. So you can see we just have it close and then we'll use the jack down there to lift it up. 
and then this lip here I'm going to wood glue on both sides so that way once the floor is up it's glued to the bottom and then we'll obviously use screws as well. All right, we got the floor on. It is pretty much fully installed. I think I got a few more um, screws to add and then I've got some more uh, supports to add underneath. But other than that, it is mounted, screwed in, and pretty much mostly sealed from the outside. The only thing that I really have left to do are these access holes. I need to create the, uh, the little slides for those to close those off and I need to take the anchors um, for mounting the camper into the truck off of the old floor and drill new holes in here, put some plates in and mount those up. But other than that, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty much done. Got to do some interior, interior caulking and uh, paint and the floor will be ready to take all the stuff I'm gonna put on the inside. And the other huge thing is, oh yeah, I can fully stand in here, which is awesome. Um, before I was probably about like this. Uh, so adding that extra, basically three and a half inches, total game changer. I think it adds a ton of value to this camper and I'm so stoked on that. Oh, hey, it's me from the future. I realized while I'm editing this, that I didn't show you guys underneath the floor. So I did um, some two by ones on the sides of that piece of plywood for the floor. And then I took the pre-painted um, leftover piece of the side wings of plywood and screwed that into the middle. So it's about, I don't know, 10 inches wide. And this gives the floor more rigidity and support underneath. Um, so yeah, just screwed those on, sealed them up, and uh, you can kind of see the profile. But yeah, that's what underneath the floor looks like. Okay, so it's supposed to be in the mid-70s today. It's early morning right now. I'm going to try and get a coat of paint down on all of the wood in here. Uh, it's just going to be the same color gray as the outside. You can see we obviously already prepped some edges for install. So yeah, going to clean this out, get a coat of paint on it. And uh, yeah, after we get some coats of paint on it, the plan is to caulk all of these seams in here make sure no water can get into any of the crevices and get this thing nice and sealed up so the inside is painted i went with the same color as the outside just to keep things simple use the same paint that i already had this is all going to be covered anyways um, with a much lighter material we're going to put down some vinyl flooring and everything on the inside is going to be a more natural wood look so you really won't see any of this darkness it's going to get a lot brighter in here and a lot nicer looking so that really wraps up this video now that the floor is painted and installed that was a really big project but i'm super stoked to be done with it and moving on to the next phase um, the next phase of this build is going to be getting the outside all dialed, painted, and sealed, and addressing some issues. So definitely stick around for that. There's a lot to do on the exterior of this build uh, and a lot of stuff that I need to do before I can move forward with finishing up the interior. So stick around for that. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. It's been awesome reading your guys' words of encouragement through this process. It's helped me push forward um, through this build that is frankly much bigger than uh, I thought it was going to be. But yeah, until then, catch you guys in the next one.